All right, so here's our first example. And so in this example, we're going to solve this equation here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the double angle identity to rewrite the sine 2x because we've got cosine x, sine 2x. We want to get everything in terms of x, right? So let's first rewrite this as 2 cosine x plus, now in this case here, there's only one way to write this. And again, if you forget, just derive it, right? Just use the sum angle. So this becomes 2 times 2 times sine x cosine x. And now I can factor out a cosine x. And so I get, well, 2 cosine x. So I can get 2 cosine x times uh, 1 plus sine x is equal to zero. Now I can use the zero product principle and that gives me two equations to solve. Two cosine x is equal to zero and one plus sine x equal to zero. And so this is the same here. Uh, this is the same as just cosine is equal to zero. And this over here will say sine x is equal to negative 1. And so for both of these, uh, I know that uh, and they don't give us a, a, um, an interval, right? So they don't have a restricted domain. So in this case here, cosine is 0 at pi over, so this is going to be equal to pi over 2 plus, um, plus uh, n pi, right? Yes. So, now did they restrict this? Hold on a second. Okay, they're giving both. So, let's give, let's give this specific solution on the restricted domain from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so this is going to be 0 at pi over 2, and uh, what, when is it going to also be, uh, well, we can add pi to this, so this is going to be 3 pi over 2, right? And then this is going to equal negative 1, sine is equal to negative 1 at um, when x is equal to 3 pi over 2. So there's a little bit of redundancy, which is fine. So that means the general solution is just going to be equal to um, pi over 2 plus 2n pi and 3 pi over 2 plus 2n pi. And again, where n is an integer. All right. Have a great day.